Yes, please. You said that you can't find happiness from external patterns. Um, what's the point? What's the point of, of getting into your relationship with having children and getting a career that you love? Because that's not true to true happiness. Um, it seems like it's all kind of geared to do is to to grow up, get a career, have kids, have the car. get in a relationship not because is to if we get in a relationship not because with expectation that he or she is going to give you the satisfaction happiness joy if you are getting engaged with that kind of expectation your relations are going to break down it won't last it won't be a good relationship after some time it will be disappointing but if your relationship is the gear towards to help each other, to take care of each other when we need it. So it is not about to get some kind of happiness from her, but to be able to live together, to be able to grow together, to be able to share together, to be able to understand each other. And so that in that sense, then the relation will be more stable, better, less expectations, less disappointment, and also you begin to find more stable happiness, joy, meaning in your relationship. And it's the same with the children. And to bring children is not because I want to be happy that and I hope and that because expecting that I will get happy happiness from that children. But because I want to help that children to grow and give best as much as can and to be able to help and maybe we are able to help each other, to grow each other. And with that, when you do, you are when you are in that kind of process, the happiness just comes naturally. That's part of the happiness, the joy, satisfaction, is byproduct of that process. Whether you want that happiness or whether you don't want, it doesn't matter. When you are in that true process, that happiness just comes. It just arrives. But when you are not that process, then of course. Whether you wish, whether you start, but you, you can't find it. So I think that is the way that the process. And so, um, yeah. You say true happiness. True. How do you know it's true? Mm. True happiness. True. Is it real? Is it real? Is it true happiness? Mm. It is possible. It is possible that your ego can trigger. Even though it's not true happiness, you can your ego, false ego, can trigger and say this is the true happiness. And that when we say true happiness, it means um, that's kind of satisfaction, happiness, joy, which come on very stable level. It's not fluctuating like the moment. It's very stable, stand, steady, all the time. It doesn't fluctuate by the external changes, circumstances. When you are able to find that kind of peace, calmness, stability in your life from within, just not being so disturbed by the external circumstances, changes, then I think that is where you are beginning to have more of inner happiness, more of true happiness. Yeah.